In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to open another mailbox on the Outlook application. So, first of all, of course, all you need to do, just go and open your Outlook application on your PC. Of course, if you have it on your PC already, that will be great. But if you don't, all you need to do, just go and open any browser you are currently using in your PC. Once you open it, you can just go to the URL section and type download Outlook, hit the enter button and go to the first link and start downloading the application. Of course, those steps will be pretty simple. It will be like any other download into your PC. Of course, you must have been like already downloaded something in your PC before. So it will be the same steps. I guess it's pretty easy. So once it's downloaded into your PC, install it and open the application. They will ask you to log in into your account once you did that. If you have an account, log in into it. But if you don't, you will need to go and create one. If you have the option to do that there, that will be great. But if you don't, go to their website and create your account. Then go back and log in into it. Once you're logged in into your account, you'll find this as your home screen or as your main screen. And as we said in the beginning of the video, we would like to open another mailbox on our Outlook application. So, of course, once we do that, you can just go to the top right corner file option. And, of course, you can add an account to open the mailbox of this account. If you don't want to, like, open another account and you just want to export, like, the mailbox, you can just go here to open, open and export and then click at the other users folder. And here... You can just in the name box, enter the name of the mailbox of which you have been granted sharing. So, of course, you can just name it here. Okay, just go here and click at name. And this will open this for you. And, of course, choose whatever you want from all of this. Of course, you can like the folder type. You can choose one of those again. And once you finish, hit the OK button and you'll be good to go. So, this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.